Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Let's Play Starfleet Academy. I'm your host Angel and we're going to do missions 4, maybe missions 5 today as well. But uh, let's see how I got on. Uh, get on? Yeah, can't speak today. Let's see how I get on. So let's just load up my game and continue. Come in. Hi Jenna. Have a seat. So what's up? It's about Corin. He's out of control. <laughs> I like the abruptness of uh, these uh, choices. Um, it's a shame the screen kind of goes to black. Uh, Cleon Canopy does this a little bit differently. It just kind of takes the screen out of focus rather than just going straight to black. But did you notice that uh, uh, we have the Starfleet Academy main menu on uh, the captain's screen? Is it Forrest? Forrester? I need to learn the names. Anyway. She's a bit, uh, she, she's the on edge type, and um, we have been worried about, he is a bit of a dick, but I, I want to see if we can just, you know, break the ice a little calmer down. So let's try this. If I didn't know better, I'd say you didn't like corn. This has nothing to do with my personal opinion of corn, but I think he's hurting the team's morale. <laughs> You're right, we should get rid of him. Uh, no. Because that, no, no, no. Um, yeah, very obviously the right choice here. Look, I understand your concerns, but we're all still new at this. For now, Corn stays. Look, it's not that I mind Corn going out with that cadet. It's just that he wasn't even interested in her until he found out Robin had a crush on her. Hold on, what cadet? I'm talking about Faith Gage. Haven't you heard about her? No, I've been too busy with my studies. Look, I'll check into it, okay? I'll be in the simulator. Cadet's log, supplemental. Apparently, I'm expected to monitor the love life of my crew, as well as lead them. Well, the uh, welfare of your crew is your primary responsibility, so... You may not need to know all the details, but if it affects their performance and their duties, then yes, you do need to get involved in some manner, or at least make sure it doesn't interfere with their duties. All right, so let's have a look. This still hasn't changed. All right, well, let's just continue. Welcome back again, cadets. Our intelligence believes that Governor Kumas, the Klingon commander behind the attack on Pasco II, is acting without the sanction of the Klingon High Council. On top of that, there's been a battle between one of the Romulan warbirds that raided Pasco II and two of our ships, the USS Demeter and the USS Alexandria. Unfortunately, the Demeter was destroyed in the battle. The Romulan's warp engines were damaged as well. You will join the Alexandria and the USS Rutherford in their search for the damaged Romulan. If we're lucky, we'll catch her before she can repair her engines and warp out of the system. Good luck. Captain's log, stardate 3551.3. We are on a mission to intercept an intruder into Federation space, and we hope learn more about the reasons for the Klingon Romulan invasion. Course laid in, Captain. All right, I have actually turned on my keyboard this time. Uh, my keyboard, sorry. I've turned on my joystick this time, and I did test that I can roll the ship, so that's that's good. Phasers, photons... No, uh, what would I... Warp shields... Uh, impulse... Life support... Tractor beam... And hull... Okay, that's damage control. I want to have a look at engineering because we do have different power settings here. Um, uh, so I'm kind of curious. Uh, we might actually just go to red alert first. Okay, can we? How can we shift this? Total power. Ah, nice. 
I'm, I'm just going to increase this a little. I want some better efficiency out of my weapons. Maybe shields as well. Okay, that should do. Well, we want to stay on red legs, I'm sure we're going to be attacked anyway, so, uh, right, so yeah, I have the joystick, and yes, I can roll with the keyboard. I can fire with the joystick as well, but I can't really do much else, so let's uh, begin our warp. Captain, the warp drive is not online. Oh, apparently we can't. Did I... <laughs> Did I put too much energy in there? Uh... No? No? Uh... Go to green alert then? Okay, cool. Entering the pass call system. Find Romulan. Okay, well. Uh... Phasers are unavailable. Okay, uh, red alert. Um, I'm not sure if there's something kind of supposed to trigger here. Do we, uh... We scan, no, um... There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Let's, um... Let's go back to the view screen. Let's launch a probe. Mm, I can't launch a probe. What the hell? What the hell? I feel like something should have triggered and it hasn't. Okay, well, you know what, I'm just going to restart this, because something went wrong, and I'm wondering if it's just the uh, power settings I made. Course laid in, so let's let's not mess with the power settings again for now. Oy. All right, let's try this again. Entering the pass call system. Captain, the commanding officers of the Alexandria and the Rutherford are standing by. Captain, I have a theory on how we might find the Romulan. Go on. Space is not completely empty. There are still atoms in space, distributed evenly by the Big Bang. However, a cloaked ship would mask these atoms and register as a perfect vacuum. A single ship would take weeks to scan even a small area of space, and they would detect more anomalies than genuine readings. However, two ships with all power diverted to sensors could serve to eliminate anomalies while a third ship searched. We might find the Romulan in hours, maybe minutes. Lieutenant McGee, pass on Mr. Stirk's plan to the Alexandria and the Rutherford. We'll conduct the search. They'll remain on station. Yes, sir. Okay, so something clearly went wrong with the triggers there. That's uh, why that didn't work, but at least... Anomaly ...briefly appeared ahead, Captain. What is it, Mr. Stork? It could be an anomaly, or it could be the Romulan. We should try to localize our search. Course laid in, Captain. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared ahead, Captain. Okay, yeah. So, a uh, trigger didn't work there, so, but at least we're, we're on... We're on track now, so I guess we just keep going straight ahead. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared ahead, Captain. Do do do. I guess we just. Do we warp? A sensor anomaly briefly appeared ahead, Captain. I guess we warp then. Okay, sorry. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared. Is that Captain? Ooh. These are the remains of the USS Demeter. It was destroyed by a barrage of Romulan plasma torpedoes. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared to starboard, Captain. Starboard. Okay. Let's have a look at this. 
Poor guys. I'm going to get a red alert. Okay, I'm guessing it might be near the planet. Let's have a look. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared ahead, Captain. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared ahead, Captain. You don't need to keep reminding us, I think. This is slightly annoying. Captain, we found the wrong. Oh, okay. The Romulan is decloaking, sir. <laughs> Is he gone? Did he walk? Two Klingon D7. Oh no. The system. Oh, okay. Klingons, right? Hailed by the Klingons. Audio channels only. Oh, we got support. That's good. Uh, can we heal? Klingon vessel, you are in violation of the Organian peace treaty. Surrender at once. We Klingons do not know the meaning of that word. Yeah, fine, screw you then. Roll, roll, roll. Where's the Romulan? Uh, sorry, I need to quickly look at my uh, targeting. Next ship. Radar range, scan ship. Nearest enemy is plus, okay. Not the most intuitive controls. Oh. One down. Nice. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Oh, that's. <laughs> Something's damaged. I'm not sure what. Side shields repaired. Lower shields on. I think he's pretty damaged. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. I'm a from Starfleet. We're to return to Starbase immediately. Did, did we kill the Romulan already? Uh. Okay. Well. Shields repaired. It's just uh. Check our guys out, see how they're doing. We heard your recall signal, Captain. We'll follow you back to Starbase. Captain, we heard the recall signal. We'll follow you back to Starbase. Cool. That's that's actually kind of cool. They had cutscenes just for that. I I, I may have uh, missed something else there, but I don't know. Let's uh, go back to Starbase. That was a quick mission. Unless there's some kind of hidden thing I've missed. Captain, I'm getting a transmission beamed on all channels from Klingon space. I am Kumas of the Hansnar province. We have ended the insurrection in Intach, uncovered a Federation sensor system used to spy on our worlds, and humiliated the Federation's fleet at Pascal 5. I will not compromise the security of Hansnar province. I will not bow to Federation pressure. No one will deter us from our right to act as we please to pursue the greater glory of the Klingon Empire! Yeah, well, we'll see about that, won't we? Cool. Uh, hail the Starbase, I guess. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. You have done exceptionally well on this mission. Dealing with a cloaked Romulan ship is one of the most difficult tasks you'll ever have to face. And he should know, of course. Balance of Terror, superb episode of TOS. All right, uh, good, good. Uh, well, as that was over so quickly, I will indeed do a f another mission. So that'll be mission five next, I guess. Uh, any changes on crew? Nope. All right, let's continue. Cadets Log. I was looking for Captain Sulu to hand in my weekly reports and possibly get some advice on the Corn and Robin situation. He thought it was a miracle, and I said it couldn't have been God. He was commanding the Enterprise <laughs> at the time. <laughs> sir, my report, sir. At ease, cadet. Commander Chekhov, meet David Forrester. He just might be what you're looking for. Ah, nice to meet you, cadet. 
And you, sir, I didn't know you were teaching at the academy. He's not really an instructor. I'm here to develop some new simulator missions. I've had a few unorthodox ideas. By the way, Cadet Forrester, do you know your way around the simulated neurofeedback bipolar resolution assimilator? <laughs> well, well, I was in the top 10% of my computer class, sir. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Cadet, do you know what a Cossack is? Um, well, I, I think they were horsemen. Uh, on the Eurasian continent of Earth in the 18th to 19th centuries, sir. That's good. Very good. Excellent. You might be exactly what I need. Commander Chekhov needs some help with his simulation testing. It should be a simple task for such a well-informed student as yourself. Report tomorrow to the science lab. Commander Chekhov, sir. I, uh, think I found the problem right here. Ah, yes. Well, it's not really the problem. It looks Cadet's to me... log, supplemental. Well, I solved a tricky recursion problem in the Romulan cloaking simulation, and my fate was sealed. Commander Chekhov asked me to assist him on a regular basis. I do have to admit, though, it's pretty amazing to see the simulations from the inside, as well as from the command chair. Yeah, well, it was good to see Chekhov. Um, I have to say, though, Walter Koenig will always be, for me, Bester, Alfred Bester from Babylon 5. That is by far the best character he has ever played. Far more nuanced and uh, more interesting a character than Chekhov ever was. Uh, which is not his fault, that's just, you know, the writing that Chekhov was given. But yeah, it, it's still, it's nice to see Chekhov uh, show up. All right, uh, well, I guess we'll continue with mission five. Um, yeah. We have a serious problem developing on the Galactic Rim. Unknown raiders have been attacking freighters in the Montgomery and Churchill systems. You will patrol four systems, Mountjoy, Montgomery, Allenden, and Churchill. Start with the second planet in each system, then proceed to the next. When you've patrolled all four systems, return to Starbase 11. Good luck. Captain's log, Stardate 3101.7. A mysterious raider has attacked shipping along the Galactic Rim. Starfleet has ordered us to patrol the area in the hope that we will be able to uncover the raider's identity and stop them once and for all. Course laid in, Captain. Hey, patrol duty, and a Miranda. Okay, well, we are now officially in the red shirt ship of Starfleet. Captain, I'm receiving a distress signal from the freighter mother load in the Churchill system. <laughs> <laughs> the mother load, love it. Okay, um. Let's do that, okay. Uh. Let's go defend the mother load. Entering Churchill system. There's an open channel to Captain Norton of the mother load. Will you please stop these fools from attacking my ship? Uh, we'll have a talk with them. It's a uh, Pinter's Folly? Kestel of the Pinter's Folly is responding to our hail. Open a channel. Thank goodness you're here, Captain. That ship is a pirate vessel. Its hull is shielded to prevent sensor readings. Obviously because it's carrying stolen cargo. This man's ship must be impounded and he must be put on trial for murder. I have Captain Norton on subspace... Right. I heard what they said. If they had bothered to check our flight plan, they would have found out that we're carrying a cargo of Denabite, which creates an energy field that scrambles sensors. We had to equip a special module to navigate while carrying this cargo. Do you know how much these modules cost? Captain, your ship sensors should be powerful enough to get through the Denabite and confirm that we are not pirates. Please scan us, then inform these people that if they fire on us again, I'll make damn sure that they lose their license to carry cargo in this sector. Do I make myself clear? Lovely voice acting. So yeah, I'm guessing this is like a, a back and forth here of 
uh, conversation, but let's scan the ship. The dinobite that the mother load carries still interferes with our scans at this power level. Okay, uh, sensors. The dinobite that the mother load carries still interferes with our scans at this power level. But, but, uh, come on, sensors, sensors. Maximum power, yeah? Captain, I am able to penetrate the hold. They are carrying a cargo of dinobite, which naturally blocks sensor scan. There we go. Is listed in their cargo manifest, Captain. All right, well, let's let's hail them. Captain Kestel, we just scanned the mother load. Its cargo is dinobite, which blocks low-powered sensor scans. We have no evidence that it has done anything wrong. Now, I suggest that you power down your weapons before I impound the lot of you. Well, uh, are you sure he isn't a pirate? Unless you have any other evidence against him. There's nothing to suggest that he is anything but a hard-working freighter captain like yourself. Uh, I am uh, sorry, Captain. I suggest that you talk things over with the mother load. You owe him an apology, at the very least. Tempest out. Cool. Well, we managed to successfully captain. diplomatically resolve that situation. Uh, let's reduce sensor power back to normal, I guess. Cool. All right. Uh... We're in the Churchill system, aren't we? We're supposed to scan, so... Scan? Sensors cannot adequately scan the object at this range. Oh, Churchill 2. Here we go. We have confirmed our approach on Churchill 2. Great. All right. Uh, I guess we go to the next system then, right? Cool. So far, so good. Entering the Allen Dunn system. We have confirmed our approach on Allenden 2. Okay. Laid in, Captain. What do you reckon? Is it going to be Montgomery or Mountjoy that's going to be uh, the pirates? Entering the Montgomery system. Nothing here. Why do you scan the second planet in these systems? Why? Because there's several other planets. I like that there are several other planets, but yeah. Okay, um, well, scan. Confirmed our approach on Montgomery 2. Captain, I'm getting a distress signal from a freighter in the Laurier system. It's under fire from an unknown alien ship. Course laid in, Captain. All right. Let's go rescue the freighter. Captain, I am detecting an alien vessel in the system. It is attacking a freighter. The alien has ceased its attack and gone into warp. Its course should take it to the Walpole system. Okay. Course laid in, Captain. Let's hail the freighter first. Captain, thank you for your assistance. We thought we were dead for sure. A pleasure to help. Look, I've been piloting the rim for a few years now, but I've never seen anything like that ship that attacked us. It was big, very big. Two wings that fold up butterfly fashion, warp nacelles in each wing, and some sort of high end disruptor. Captain, you've got to track this thing down and put it out of business before it hits anyone else. Our sensor log indicates that it warped the Walpole system. I'd start searching there if I were you. I really like the fact that uh, when we hail these ships, each one so far has had a cutscene. It's not just a radio transmission. It's, it's nice attention to detail. Also, so far, controlling by the joystick is much nicer than doing it by the keypad so far. It's just annoying. I can't roll with it. But, uh, yeah, let's go to the Walpole system. Entering the Walpole system. Captain, I am detecting an alien vessel in this system. It is heading towards the system's asteroid field. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Can we hail? This is Captain Forrester of the USS Tempest. Identify yourself. I am Kaldos, captain of the Venturi ship Retaliation. Captain, I have the entry on the Venturi from the ship's computer. The Venturi are Federation members. Their star is dying, but the majority of the populace have refused to immigrate. They have complained that the Federation aid is not sufficient to meet their needs. Your attempts at aiding us were insulting. When Earth and the Federation first came to us, 
We welcomed them as brothers. We shared our wisdom and our resources with you, but in our time of need, you gave us nothing except sympathy and a few meager handouts. Sympathy does not revitalize dead soil or dying oceans. The Venturi do not understand the difficulties they face. Planetary revivification is even more complex than terraforming. We outnumber you, Captain. Lower your shields and beam over your surplus dilithium crystals, or I will be forced to destroy you. Captain, the Venturi are not known for having their own starships, and that ship does not match any known design. Therefore, it must belong to another alien race. Interesting. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at the options. Venturi aren't a race of warriors. Do you expect us to take this threat seriously? The Tempest will surrender its dilithium. Just give us a few minutes to remove it from our stores. The Venturi are an old and honored race. Isn't piracy a rather humiliating way to continue your traditions? Well, that seems like the most diplomatic answer. I mean, if we surrender our dilithium, then basically we can't go to warp. So, and this one's just insulting. So let's just go for this. At least our race will survive. Once we can pay for the aid that is required, the Venturi will once again walk among the stars. You have 20 seconds to lower your shields for transport of the crystals, or we will fire. No. Well, let's just... We'll start this off. Let's see if we can just disable them. Where are you? Where are you? I think we damaged them quite badly there. Reverse, reverse. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Oh, go, 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 go. Ooh. It sounds like we've got another ship coming in as well. Okay, they've been heavily damaged at this point, I think. Oh my god. Life support offline. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Maybe I'm being too generous here. Let's come about. Forward shields repaired. Starboard shield that shield system is damaged, Oh my god, these guys hit hard. Shields have been hit. Phasers are critical. We have supported 50%. Roll to our starboard. We've only got starboard and forward shields right now. Starboard shields down to 50%. We've completed repairs on the time, sir. We really need to get a good hit on these. Nice, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't die. Please don't die. All weapons are offline. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. I can't move. I have no weapons. Come on, where are my weapons? Uh, damage control. Yeah, well, I don't exactly have a lot going for weapons, do I? Uh, well, let's say we don't uh, don't need the tractor beam. Where's my weapons? Let's 
still can't fire. <laughs> this is not good. I need my weapons, boys. Uh, let's bring warp down. Lock weapons. Let's bring tractor beam off. I need at least something. Come on, guys. Let's bring that down. Phasers ready. Yes. All right. We still need torpedoes. We got torpedoes. And they're off again. Fucking hell. I have rear torpedoes, although I don't know how to fire them. Phasers ready, Captain. Trying to get some distance away from the ship so I can repair. Readying photon tubes. How do I fire my rear torpedoes? Someone needs to help me fire rear torpedoes. I'm looking at my... Let's have a look. Yep, no idea how to fire my rear torpedoes. Torpedoes are what we need. Oh, there's the targeting. Nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, now that was tough. Alright, let's just hope I haven't lost a warp nacelle. Oh, what did G do? Emergency power. I have emergency power. That's nice. Damage control. Alright, let's get our warp engines back online, shall we? Life support's good. Now we've got to wait for our... Let's actually have a look at the stations. Uh, is it this one? No, that's communications. This one? Starboard shields repaired. Looks like we've got something coming back. Alright. Yes, there we go. Alright. Let's go. Entering the Mount Joy system. No targets. Let's scan Mount Joy 2. We have confirmed our approach on Mount Joy 2. We have now confirmed the approach on all assigned systems. We have completed our patrol, Captain. I'm receiving a message from Starfleet. We're to return to Starbase immediately. Course laid in, Captain. So my mistake, I think, with the first one is that I tried to disable, so I thought, you know, let's try and disable them and get something from there. Uh, but then a second ship came in and I got heavily damaged, so yeah. Bad choice on my part, perhaps. And I need to fire, figure out how to fire rear torpedoes, because on my right-hand side I did have the option for rear torpedoes. I have no idea how to fire them, though, so... Uh, oh, uh, slow down. Hailing frequency open. Everything mission accomplished, Starfleet. Congratulations. You have dealt with overwhelming odds in a manner consistent with the best traditions of Starfleet. Well done, cadets. Your actions have brought the Venturi out into the open. It has not, however, ended their raiding, nor have you discovered the source of their technology. We'll be continuing that part of the scenario in our next mission. Okay, well, that was definitely the toughest mission so far. Uh, as I said, probably made a mistake there just trying to disable them, but uh, yeah, didn't fuck around then after, after a while. But uh, luckily, I did not have to redo that mission, and all is well. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to save the game again. And, uh, yeah, I guess the next one is... We did missions 4 and 5 today, so the next one will be missions 6 and 7, potentially. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, as I said, playing with the joystick, definitely much easier than playing with the keyboard, which I have to constantly kind of overcompensate my movements. It's just a bit annoying with the rolling. And sometimes I just, there's not a lot of uh, 
feedback sometimes and where the direction of enemy fire is coming from. I guess I just had to really monitor my shields. It'd be really nice if the ventral dorsal shield indicator was a bit bigger than a tiny little blue bob, uh, blob at the bottom left corner of my screen. So, hey ho, um, let's see what happens next time. I uh, hope you'll join me for then. And until that time, do take care. <laughs>